a problem. That's what I do. That's what I do, son. Another thing that happened to me that was really strange, I was in a grocery store and there was a lady in a full burqa. She was pushing a the cart. There was a guy, a gentleman with her, and he was in front. And she was pushing the cart towards me. I was standing in line. I had some groceries standing in the in the express line. And you know, I didn't think too much of it. Like, okay, whatever. Getting ready to let her go past. And she started to push forward. And the gentleman came up and grabbed the front of the cart and gave her a hand signal like, no. And then, you know, he walked past and then he took the cart. They, they both passed me. Something about the way that happened, it really bothered me. I don't know why. I don't know what was going on. But I had to fight from throwing my stuff down and leaving that line. Like, I was afraid that she was going to blow the whole place up. Not to be racist or anything, it was just the way that everything struck me. I was really high on edge, and my anxiety was kicked up to level 11 out of 10. That was rough. So yeah, that one, I stayed in the line, I paid my stuff, I got out of there, because I've realized I do have anxiety, and sometimes things are not rational that I want to do that I'm feeling. So I'm, I'm used to fighting that down. It's hard sometimes, but I can't fight it down. Um, another thing, I was driving my mother-in-law's car. And this is a could have been a bad confrontation. Driving my mother-in-law's car, my mother-in-law, my wife are in the back. It's a big Suburban. And I'm backing out of the parking spot. Another car is coming in right next to me. And it's a guy with his son and... He zooms in real fast into the parking spot, and it's summertime, so our windows are down. And he looks up at me like, hey, watch where you're going. I didn't, like, okay, whatever. So I'm continuing backing out, and then it just kicked in. Like, why don't, I'm going backwards. Why don't you watch where you're going, you stupid mother? And, and just, I pulled away. But I was trying to turn the car around and go get him. Something in me was on edge. I'm talking anxiety, anger management, whatever it was. I was I wanted to pull the guy's throat out. And my wife wouldn't let me. She kept grabbing the steering wheel, wouldn't let me turn back around and go get him. My mother-in-law was, you know, really probably not. She was a little nervous seeing me like that in that state. It's probably the only time I think my wife has ever seen me really lose control. Um, and I felt really bad about it. Didn't do anything to the guy. Didn't, didn't get out and confront him. But good Lord, I wanted to. And it was, it was hard. But um, yeah. So that's the way anxiety has been affecting my life. And to this day still, I do get, <clears throat> or I was within the last few months, getting some chest pains and irritations when things start getting stressful arguments with my wife sometimes or um, just stressful situations. It's something I have to deal with. But I do have some ways that I do um, deal with it well, a little better now than taking the medication sometimes they give me. Um, and we can talk about that. Uh, for now, I'll go ahead and end this video. I don't, I've already probably made it way too long. But um, that's all I have right now. Just if you feel like you're alone in having anxiety, hopefully my story will help you a little bit. It's not just you. A lot of people have it. A lot of people deal with it in different ways. Um, there are healthy ways to deal with it. And I'll talk about that in some other videos and in, in, in the assist videos. Best of all, keep your head up and I keep breathing. Keep taking deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Try and stay calm and talk to somebody. Get some help if you need it. Um, if you have any questions, you go ahead and, and link me in the message below. Please like and subscribe if you appreciate what I'm talking about. Please follow if you get a chance. All right. I'm out.